so here's the older mobile, obviously pre, you know, pre-painting, pre-patching or whatever. And see that's, that direction is the freeway and you can hear it's not too loud. Um, this is all Bahia seated and it's coming in nice. And here's the view from uh, this manufactured home. Here's the current state of this home. It's been gutted. Uh, ready for a new kitchen, new wall insulation, a new um, drywall, or whatever your interior, whatever we end up putting. Uh, two bedroom, one bath. This bathroom has been gutted, although the shower is in pretty good shape. You know, it needs a new window. That's bedroom one. Here's bedroom two. And then we have, there's a nice little back patio back here. And also down there is washer dryer hookups. And you can see the view from out here. Oops, I'm gonna step down. Got the freeway back there and then the cow pasture. And here we have the hookups, water and 100 amp power for two RV spots. Last little burn stuff and then we're gonna, you know, finish smoothing, grading this area uh, right in here and then seed this as well. the two RV spots will be and then and here's right now we just have uh, parking for you know whatever throw your implements there your trailers you know you can fit some really big stuff in here and then this is the this is going to be the official driveways where you come in and curve around to here air conditioner brand new just installed and then here we have a carport I guess you could fit two cars in there, but right now we're just using it for tools and storage and stuff. And then here's the view uh, towards the west side of the property. And then in the plan is to put either a privacy fence along here or uh, bamboo, something like that, to kind of block the view of the freeway. And then uh, on this one, we're going to put in new windows on the front side. And this one has also been uh, gutted, basically. So here's, you got your living area. Uh, this will be the kitchen. It'll be like a U-shaped kitchen. Here's your, you can see where the sink goes. Uh, we were just doing some drywall repair and everything. So the kitchen will be like a U layout like that. And here's just some, uh, some tile we've been thinking about using for the counters. And everything will be repainted nicely, you know, floors. There's a couple of small holes in the floor, so we need to uh, remove some sections of the subfloor, put new in, it's no big deal. Same thing in here, uh, all new subfloor in this room. And then the uh, second bathroom in here. Uh, and there was an old furnace that was in here, so this will be converted into a uh, a little linen closet or something like that. It does have built-in washer and dryer. Hookups, the dry, they're not staying. Uh, and then this is the master. Uh, water heater is in here. And we're gonna do like a little feature wall along the back and white walls everywhere. Keep it nice. And 
then, so it's a, not a huge area, uh, but it's a nice size. And it's nice and cool in here as well. And door to the back. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can, you can't even really hear the freeway. You can kind of see it. You can, like zoom in. But I, mean, I don't know if you can hear the really quiet AC over top of the freeway or the, the insects making noise or what, but it's really not that loud. Here's the view out the front. The, we did a lot of cleanup through here. Uh, a lot of just shrubberies and whatever were, were there. Uh, there's a, the well is right here. And there's two septics, one for each uh, mobile, a manufactured home. And then here's the well right here. We just built a little cover for it, make it a little nicer. And plenty of room for pastures for make this a big jump field you know put the round pen right here uh, overall there you go that's the update